All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and dive right into this. So, first player is Reki, and we go clockwise order. So, for the way this works is there's a setup phase, which uh, we've already kind of did, did most of it. Um, we refresh anything that's been turned. Uh, we pretty much refresh any card, so if there's anything that was tapped, we would be refreshing at this point, but that's not necessary for this. Um, also, we would be returning any tableau cards to the bottom of the deck and then drawing new ones, which we've already done. And then we perform any specific room task, if there are any. Um, there is nothing that needs to be done ahead of time in this one, so we're good to go. So, next is the errands phase. That's when we start taking turns. So first turn's going to go to Reiki here. Alright, so sorry, I had to get a drink there. And uh, so the way turns work is you get a a fast action and a regular action. Um, you always have to take your fast action before you take a regular action. So if you end up taking an action, your fast action's been wasted. Um, fast actions are... Um, can be kind of anything that's just labeled as a fast action. Right now, the only fast action that Reiki has right now is placing this planar mage, because it's purple. Um, as an action, what you can do for an action is you can send a mage on an errand, which is just placing them on one of these spots. Um, you can cast a spell if it's an action spell, so I could cast Burnout if I really want to. And uh, yeah, uh, one of the other actions we can do uh, is we can grab one of these tower cards. Now, if you grab a tower card, that ends your turn. Uh, immediately, and you can only grab one tower card per round, uh, per per turn. All right. So for right now, let's take a look at the rooms. Uh, we got the training field here, which is just its gimmick is you get some intelligence, and it's essentially a source of intelligence and wisdom, which is used for research. The courtyard, which is just a, a, a raw source of mana. Um, you can get some raw mana. There's also mana based off the number of wisdom you have. Uh, this does count wisdom that's been associated, been attached to spells. Catacombs. Uh, this is just for IP. Uh, you can draw also if in higher tiers. If you you can you know draw a secret supporter and then gain a mark. Um, there's guilds. Uh, this is a your each of the slots is your choice of gold or mana, and it's pretty much a pretty big source of it. Um, down here we have uh, the vault. Now the vaults are kind of special. Uh, the way the vault works is when if there's when it gets resolved, you reveal the top three cards of the vault deck not associated to the tableau, and anyone that has a, a character on it can essentially grab things from it. Now, granted, if there are more than three people here for whatever reason, um, the, uh, <laughs> the 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 fourth character and beyond are not going to get anything from this. The council chamber. Um, now, the council chamber has a limit. You can only have one mage per player in this room, so you can't just have a bunch of people here. Uh, this is generally the most common way of getting supporters. Uh, this card, this particular room is in every game, no matter what. You can tell a, uh, a room is required because of the white border around it. The library is also a required room. This is pretty much the primary form of getting research, which is those green bottles there. If you ever get a research point, that is when you actually start spending these intelligence and wisdom tokens to learn spells. So you need to learn a spell, you have to spend an intelligence. But anytime that you get research, you can also uh, use, instead of learning a spell, if you already have a spell learned, you can use wis uh, wisdom to advance it and get the next tier up. Um, and then the last room is the infirmary, which is where anyone that gets wounded goes. And this is also a required room. Anyone that gets wounded will automatically immediately get the benefit that's listed below. You can either get two gold, one mana, or one I or one influence point. So even if you get wounded, you still get something out of it. Uh, there's a few exceptions. Some spells uh, specific specifically state that you do not get the um, the uh, the bonus. So for example, the burnout spell where uh, Ricky literally sacrifices one of her own mages, um, that mage does not get the uh, infirmary bonus. Anyway, so at this point we have a fast action. I'm going to go ahead and use the fast action to go ahead and get myself into the council chamber. Like so. So that gets placed. Now I have my regular action. Uh, for my regular action... Oh, by the way, the way you keep track of uh, your different colored uh, meeples is literally um, in the actual physical game, all the meeples have a little slot that you put these flags on. So the way I keep track of it in uh, tabletop simulators, you literally just put the flag right next to it. 
Uh, that's why I've had so much trouble like recording this particular game, though, because it gets really chaotic, and it's really hard to keep track of everything. Um, anyway, so that was my fast action. I really, really want some research, so I'm going to go ahead, since I know that none of them have any way of hurting me with uh, red mages, I'm going to go ahead and take the library. Get myself in there. Actually, what can I do right now? Yeah, that's. I think I can. Do, I think I can do that. Actually, yeah, we'll do that for right now. I'm kind, one of the other difficulties is since I'm playing against myself, I'm literally trying to think of you know what to do and plan shit out. Anyway, I'm gonna. That's my action. Uh, that finishes my turn. It's going to go clockwise to uh, Jessica. So Jessica has a fast action. She's going to go ahead and start placing uh, her own fast mage. She'll go. She'll go council chamber. She's got no issues with that. It's pretty safe, mainly because only one mate, one mage per player can go into this room. And since Ricky's already placed hers, uh, there's not really any danger of being attacked. Uh, then for her regular action, banish one of your own mages and then wound another mage. I could go for that, but I'm not going to yet. So actually what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and place a natural mage. Right here. So unfortunately that means that most of the uh, research has been locked down. All right, goes to uh, Rihe, or however she pronounce it. We're going to go ahead for her. She's going to go ahead and try to get... Uh, she's going to try to get two IP. Actually, no, she's not going to do it there. She wants second pick of the vault has a fast action, and then for a regular action, she's going to go ahead and get that 2 IP right now. Okay. Goes to Ricky now. Uh, Ricky has no fast actions left. All she's got left is these sorcery mages and mysticism. Um, she's going to go ahead and spend one mana and activate this sorcery to go ahead and wound uh, Ricky's uh, planner mage. Uh, Rihe is going to go ahead and just take um, the one IP point. So that actually is going to put her in the lead for the influence points at least. And that gets placed. And that's it, since she has no uh, other actions. Uh, Jessica here does have another planar mage, so she's going to go ahead and fast action place that. She's going to go ahead and place it down here. And then for her action, she's going to go ahead and spend one mana herself and cast Dark Pact. Yeah, she's going to go ahead and cast Dark Pact, which is banish one of her own mages and then wound another. Banishment just returns it to the office. Just going to make sure I'm saying that correctly. Banishment. Banish. Uh... Oh, this, okay, you know what? I'm not going to cast that yet. Yeah, I'm not going to cast it yet. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and just place my Mysticism Mage. Just place it normally. Uh, we will place it... I do like how the last slot is you get more uh, one AP, IP for each player with more, more IP than you. Uh... She's going to go ahead and get herself some I wouldn't mind getting some uh we'll get some uh we'll get some wisdom. Get that going. Okay. And then next goes to uh Rihe. Rihe has been wounded uh, as a fast action. She's going to go ahead and cast bless 
which allows her to move a mage from the infirmary into an open slot of, our, of her choice. So for this, she's going to go ahead and just go... Uh, up here to this slot. Now this is a slot that requires a merit badge, but you don't have to you don't have to meet that requirement until it's resolved. All right. And then for her regular action, uh now this is a fast action spell so that does not trigger the mysticism uh character. All right. As far as actually I got a better idea. I'm not going to put that there. I'm just going to put it down here with everybody else. And then Divinity Mage, I'm going to place up here. Like so. Okay. Goes to uh, Reki. Uh, Reki is going to go ahead and spend another mana. And take out this Planner Mage. And place it down. Okay. And then... Uh, Jessica's going to go ahead and take one IP for that as well. And it goes to uh, Jessica's turn. Jessica's going to go ahead and now spend one mana and cast uh, Dark Pact. She can banish any one of her mages, which includes the one that's in the infirmary. Um, yes, you can banish something from the infirmary. It just essentially is like a heal. So this gets returned, and then she gets to wound a mage of her choice. So she's going to go ahead and wound one of the sorcery mages. Um, Ricky's going to go ahead and get herself an IP point as well. And then the mysticism effect will trigger because this is an action spell. So I can place this mysticism uh, mage for free. So she's going to go ahead and get her spot in the vault. All right. Goes to uh, Rihei. Rihei is going to go ahead and place a divinity mage. up here and that's it uh ricky's turn ricky is going to go ahead and get a see about getting some intelligence Actually, she is going to go ahead and see about getting some money. Never mind, I don't care about money. Yeah, she'll go ahead and get some intelligence. Now I'm just seeing kind of what my options are. Yeah, that'll do. And then it goes to uh, Jessica here as a fast action. She's going to go ahead and place that planner mage. She's going to go ahead and see about getting some mana. Oh, actually, that's a good point. You know what? I'm actually going to get mana myself. She's going to need it. Okay. Takes care of those. Sorry for retconning a turn. Anyway, uh, next it goes to Rihei. Rihei is just going to go ahead and place a token. You know what? She's just going to get herself a... a bunch of money. Or a bunch of mana. Is there anything else she wants besides that? No. Not really. Okay, it goes to uh, Riki. Uh, Riki's going to go ahead and get herself... Oh, that's something she could have done. She could have done this. And Riki here is going to go ahead and take the popularity and get one IP. Sorry again for ret retconning that turn, but I'm just kind of showing off what you can do here. So, so I grabbed a tower card, which ends my turn. Or, and then... She gets one. It gave her one IP, which brings her up to seven, which is enough to get her her first merit badge. So now she has a merit badge. There are two tower cards left. Uh, Jessica is going to go ahead and get herself a 
I want mana or gold. Um, she'll take a take this, and she will take um, some gold. Like so. All right, and then last turn's going to go to Ray. Ray's going to go ahead and get first turn. So now the first turn marker goes to Ray, and that ends the round. So round turn round one is over. So what we do now is we go ahead and go to each room, going from top uh, the first row, going left to right, row by row. So training fields. Uh, the only person that's here is a mysticism mage, and that is going to be one wisdom. So one wisdom goes to here. Goes to Jessica here. She gets her token back. Next room, courtyard. So the courtyard has a um, merit badge slot, which she does have, so she'll spend it. And she's going to get mana equal to her wisdom plus two. So instead of getting three mana, she gets four mana, which is conveniently all right here. Okay. And then the other slot is mana equal to your wisdom. And Jessica has three wisdom now, so she gets another three herself. So we're just going to make a copy of this and put it down. Boop. Okay, I'll resolve them. Next is the catacombs. Um, Divinity character is going to go ahead and get two IP, bringing her to the lead, and gets her a badge. Like so. That resolves the catacombs. Next is the guild. Uh, both slots are both divinity mages. So she can choose gold or mana, whichever she prefers. Um, she doesn't really need to do too much shopping, but uh, she's going to go ahead and take six gold. So she might as well just double her money. Like so. And then get herself two mana. These do stack, but I'm trying to avoid stacking them. I don't know why though. Might as well. So maybe because it's just easier to select multiples. Anyway, they're taken care of. Boop. All right. Next, it goes to the vault. So this one is the one where you have to do the special thing. So vault cards. So these three cards are from the what ones you can choose from. First pick goes to Jessica. Uh, Jessica is going to go ahead and take the sealed scroll. Second pick, or well, there's no first pick, but third pick goes to um, Ricky. And Ricky is going to go ahead and get herself it's kind of a neat variety of stuff she can get here. Well, might as well get the Arcane Eye, because that's the most expensive. And then the rest just goes to the bottom. Alright, those are resolved. So that takes care of the Vault. Alright, Council Chamber. First pick goes to... Uh, it goes top to bottom, so first pick goes to uh, Reiki here. What she knows right now is mysticism is like, is actually good. Or I can grab these and get myself a whole t shit ton of research. Um, first pick for research is not going to be her, unfortunately. Yeah, I think she's going to go ahead and grab that uh, Bartra of Wargrave here that gives her three freaking research. These other ones are kind of neat. They can give you her um, additional mages at a, at a price, which can be kind of neat as well. But, God, that's a lot of research to deny. So yeah, she'll go ahead and grab that as her first pick. Next, it goes to, and just to kind of confirm, to 
So you always draw from the deck, blah blah blah. Okay. Okay. The supporter um, tableau is only refreshed at the start of a uh, start of a round. So this is so they don't get refreshed yet. I'm just making sure that's correct. Okay. Um, spells and vaults are replaced immediately from the deck. Okay. So um, second pick is Jessica. Jessica wants to get. She kind of wants that research too, to be honest. Though getting an oh, she can't get another mystic. That just that won't happen. Uh, the fast action wound of mage can be kind of useful. Uh, she knows she needs marks, but she none of this really helps her get marks. Um, she's going to go ahead and get this um, research support uh, supporter because she just wants more research. And then the last goes to Rie, and she can't get divinity. She can get a wound if she wants to, or she can go with a mystic supporter and try to get some uh, some work done there. Yeah, um, I think I will go ahead and get the Vice Dean's Assistant there. All right, so that resolves them. Yeah, Councils of Quarters is in every game. It's generally a good idea to always make sure you have someone in there because that's one of the primary ways of getting supporters. I'm going to go ahead and put the tower cards back, by the way. Just get that out of the way. All right, um, now the library. Um, I do have a merit badge uh, for Rihe. So she gets one intelligence and one research. So here's her intelligence, and she can research a spell of her choice. Uh, she kind of wants to get that pursuit of power. And they all have little quotes in the uh, the beginning here, so she's going to go ahead and grab this spell, use one of her intelligence to go ahead and get the first rank in it, and then that spell gets immediately replaced. So there is that. Oh, this is Heart of the Mountain. It's actually Heart of the Mountain is like the ultimate defense card. It makes you pretty much immune to wounding if you cast them. Anyway, that resolves that. Next one is one buy and one research for um, Ricky here. So she's going to go ahead and buy herself. She can spend three gold. I'll just put it over there and get herself the uh, Endless Coin Purse, which allows her to essentially activate to get an action. I'll put them down here for now, just to keep out of people's way. All right, and oh, and she gets the research. Um, for her research, she's going to get... There's future power there. Level one spell from another player and exhaustible spells. Yeah, she's just going to get Oak Skin, just so no one else can get it. Okay, so that's researched. Uh, final slot is gain one int, one wisdom, or gain one research. So she has a sealed scroll already. Oh, and this gets replaced. So let's see what that spell is. Mesmerize until your next turn. All mages lose their powers, except for those that are immune to spells. Uh, that mystic link would be kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'll research that. Yeah, uh, no, I'm in, do I want to research that? No, I don't want to research that. Actually, yeah, I do want to research it. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and grab that spell and put an int on that. Okay, and that resolves that. And then the last, the last slot is in the infirmary, which is just, you grab, you just collect the people from that. Uh, you can also choose instead of getting a supporter is you can also get a mark. But if someone's if if you notice someone for the council chamber is preferring a mark over a supporter, they probably know that marks is probably something that's important. Uh, that's definitely a way to try to figure out if there's anything important is just to watch other people what they seem to favor. 
Anyway, that gets immediately replaced. Also, that got immediately replaced. And now, all these cards get discarded to the bottom. And all these get set up. Okay. Okay, uh, and then everything gets refreshed, so that spell gets refreshed, and so does that. Uh, everything gets, gets returned, uh, there's nothing special about the cards, that uh, the rooms that need to be dealt with, and so we're now at round two.